illustration of using paper and custom paper and scribble. If you click on this tune button, you see the different available type of paper. You can change among all of them or select a custom paper. So a custom paper can be any image that you load. You can also draw your own paper to use as custom paper. I'll give a little bit of demonstration. Let's uh, go in Google Images. Uh, I found two nice paper that I like to use. So let's save these as an image. This is one, and then let's find another one. This is a, a planner. And I'm going to call this planner. Now these images are on my desktop. You can see um, them here. And now let's see how to use them. I am going to go to custom, click on the custom button. And I'm being prompt with a UI. I can now select my to-do um, paper. And if you keep going in the pages, pages keep being added with the new paper. And I can go back to my ruler paper, back to my custom paper. I can select another one, like the planner. And this is the planner here. I'm going to now show you that I actually have uh, um, um, drawn some paper uh, to uh, use. I keep a paper folder with all the paper that I want to use for my own project. This one I draw myself. Uh, if I zoom in, you can see these are shapes that, are, um, that, that I have drawn. Uh, you can resize them, but in this case I keep them here. And I can use these as custom paper. So if I go there, go to custom. I need to go to the folder where the paper is uh, stored, uh, which is here. Find my paper, which is my to-do paper. And uh, there you go. Now I have my um, to-do paper that I can use. This is an image. If I try to select, it's not selectable. And I can easily, again, and now I am pointed to, the, to my paper folder and I can swap among all my super cool looking papers.